So now we're down to the 53 players who are going to be the active players for the Washington Commanders. Hey everybody, welcome to the Washington Football Maniacs. My name is Greg and thank you for joining us. I hope you are enjoying these videos. If so, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release. With that said, let's go over the 53-man roster, shall we? Let's begin. Yes, sir Bob. So, of course, we're going to start with the offense. Why not? Um, we're starting with the quarterbacks. Now, this is not in order of, um, you know, as far as starters. So, don't, don't freak out. Taylor Heineck is not the starting quarterback. They're just in order of the numbers, all right? Uh, so you got uh, Carson Wentz, who <clears throat> obviously is going to be the starting quarterback. Uh, Taylor Heineke is going to be backing him up, and then the third string is going to be Sam Howell. Uh, Sam Howell, of course, had what I call a pretty good, uh, uh, yeah, I would say that he had a really good preseason, Sam Howell did. Um he pre played pretty well. I thought he played really well in the full game in, in that last game there. So Sam Howe, third string quarterback. There you go. If we go to the running backs, of course, Brian Robinson Jr. was the projected starter for this year. Of course, you know, the unfortunate incident that happened uh, a couple of days ago. He's out of surgery. Luckily, no major ligaments or anything got damaged um, in the uh, robbery attempt where he had gotten shot. So this is great news. However, we don't quite know exactly when Brian Robinson is going to be able to start. That being said, uh, you're probably going to see a lot more of J.D. McKissick, I'm assuming, is probably going to be starting more uh, along with Antonio Gibson. I believe you you will probably see both of those guys split in time as far as being RB1. Um, but nevertheless, when Robinson is ready to go, he will probably be the starter. Um, and then, you know, of course, Jonathan Williams wound up being uh, one that... Oh, yeah, I've got a cat here. Uh, Jonathan Williams wound up being one of the guys to make the roster and a lot of people were kind of like how is he being the one who is making the roster over Jarrett Patterson and um and yeah you know you could you could kind of make the argument because you know Jarrett Patterson played pretty well last year in his rookie season I mean he's undrafted um and, you know, I mean, he didn't do anything, I think, to have lost his job, per se. But he didn't necessarily do... <laughs> Coco, it's my black cat. Um, he didn't do necessarily anything to win a job either, you know. So, um, I thought that certainly um, Jonathan Williams played really well. So... You know, Williams gets the nod, but, you know, Jarrett Patterson, he did get cut, but he got picked up, and he's going to be on the practice squad. So, you know, not to worry. Uh, we still got Patterson, and who knows? He can see some playing time this year. You never know how things are going to be. Um, moving right along, we got wide receivers. Jahan Dodson, no surprise, of course. I think he's going to be our number one wide receiver. I said it. No disrespect to Terry McLaurin. They're probably going to be 1A, 1B, honestly. I honestly think so. And, and you know, there's this is going to be the first time in a long time that we could actually say we have two number one wide receivers on this team. It's going to be great. It is going to be great. Uh, Diami Brown, uh, Curtis Samuel, uh, Dax Millen, uh, Cam Sims, everybody's favorite, my favorite, Cam Sims. So glad. Um, he, I think, can be a beast there, uh, definitely in, uh, you know, in, in the goal line situations. He's almost like an extra tight end. So, um, kudos to, Sam, uh, to Cam Sims. Your tight ends, Curtis Hodges, Logan Thomas, Cole Turner, 
John Bates, um, uh, Armani Rogers, who had a really good preseason. Um, I really want to see what Cole Turner can do, though. You know, Cole Turner, um, I'm excited for him. I really thought that, you know, when we drafted him, I was like, why, why are we drafting another tight end? You know, it seems like we have like 100 tight ends. Even though we had 100 tight ends, we still were thin at tight end, right? Because, you know, we kept having injuries. Um, you know, of course, Logan Thomas is going to be the number one tight end. However, um, you know, we did uh, draft uh, Cole, and I really want to see what he can do. And I think a lot of you guys are going to be surprised at, at what Cole Turner can do for us. Uh, moving right along, uh, the offensive line, uh, Trey Turner, Andrew Norwell uh, is probably going to get the, the nod. Um, Wes Schwarzer, Schwarzer. Charles Leno Jr., uh, Chase Roulet, who's healthy again, Chris Paul, uh, who has taken the place of um, the sheriff, Brandon Sheriff, who left us, um, Sam Cosme, Shadiq Charles, and Cornelius Luce, uh, Lucas. So that rounds out our offensive line, of course. You know, we're still waiting to see. Um, Larson to see if he comes back healthy for us in a few weeks as well. So, um, you know, he'll probably, um, I mean, who knows, who knows, maybe uh, he'll probably get some sort of playing time as well. Let's go to the defense now. Um, the defense who has struggled for us since last season. We got Shaka Tony. Uh, defensive ends, Montez Sweat, uh, Casey Tuhill, James Smith-Williams, who's going to be starting in place of Chase Young, um, F. Obada, I hope I did not, F.A. Obada, I hope I did not, you know, mispronounce his name, I apologize if I did. Uh, defensive tackles, Daniel Wise, Jonathan Allen, uh, Dron Payne, and our rookie, uh, Fedorian Mathis, who I think is going to... I think he's going to have some good playing time this year. We move along to the linebackers. We got uh, Dejon Harris, uh, Milo Effler, uh, David Mayo, who was cut, but then brought back, uh, Jamie Davis, Cole Holcomb. Then we got cornerbacks. William Jackson III, of course, will be starting. Um, the Juice, Benjamin St. Juice, Kendall Fuller, uh, Christian Holmes, uh, another one of our rookies. Safeties, Bobby McCain, uh, Derek Forrest, uh, Cameron Curl, Percy Butler, another one of our rookies who will probably also contribute a lot on special teams. Uh, Jeremy Reeves, which I honestly thought was going to get cut. Um, special teams, of course, Tress Way, Joey Sly, and the Cheeseman, um, that should surprise absolutely nobody on, on that one. So, folks, that right there is your 53-man roster for the Washington Commanders for the 2022 season. Um, honestly, uh, I, not a lot of surprises there. Um, I think the only surprise probably was, for a lot of folks, was maybe in the backfield with with um, you know Jarrett uh, getting cut, Jarrett Patterson, and then uh, luckily though, like I said, he got re-signed to the practice squad, which is um, I am I'm happy for that. Um, I think we may need him down the road, especially since the fact that you know Brian Robinson, um, you know the the injury he sustained um, off the field. Now when he comes back, who knows? Who knows what will happen? You're going to see this team have a lot of changes throughout the season. Uh, so, and we see this all the time with, with any team, but especially with this team, you're not going to see the same players starting probably and toward the end of the season, as well as there are probably going to be some more roster moves made before the season even starts, but even halfway through the season. You're probably going to see some guys 
leave and you're going to see some other guys being brought in. So let's let's recap at the end of the season. You know, we're seeing this 53-man roster. So let's go back and revisit this video, even with a, a cat in the background. <laughs> let's revisit this video and see how much things have changed, maybe by like November. We'll see if, um, if the 53-man roster has really held up. Um, let me know your thoughts on this roster. I am excited now. We got about, what, 11 days until football? For the Commanders, I'm excited. Oh, football season is back. Uh, of course, that means that I guess summertime is over. That's a bummer, but hey, at least you have football to look forward to. That's always a very exciting thing. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Uh, and again, please support this channel. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll never miss another video release. If you want to support this channel in other ways, you can do so by doing this.